In this problem, we're told an adventurous archaeologist whose mass is 85 kilograms tries to cross a river by swinging from a vine. The vine is 10 meters long, and his speed at the bottom of the swing is 8 meters per second. The archaeologist doesn't know that the vine has a breaking strength of 1,000 newtons. Does he make it across the river without falling in? Right, so this is what we have going on, right? So we have this archaeologist. They're going to be swinging from this vine, which is 10 meters long. And so you can imagine the vine being like hooked up to something right here, right? And so they're going to swing across, right? And so imagine this gap here is the river, right? And so what they're going to do is try and cross. We know their speed at the bottom, right, in the middle right here is going to be 8 meters per second, right? And so we know the vine has a tension force, right, of 1,000 newtons. And essentially, we're trying to find whether or not this vine is going to break, right? So whether or not the force is going to be greater and it's going to break it and so if it'll fall in the river or not, right? So his mass is 85 kilograms and the tension force is 1,000 newtons. So that's basically what we know. And so let's think about how we're going to solve this. So basically, the problems where you have force like this, what you usually do is take the forces in the sum of one direction. So in this case, we're going to take it in the y direction, right? You can imagine this is the y direction. And so we're going to be doing it at this point because that's when we're given the velocity, right? So how do we do it? So what we want to do is take the sum of the forces in the y direction. And in this case, since we're going in a circle, it's going to be equal to mass, right? So force usually equals mass times acceleration. But this time, since we're rotating in a circle, it's mass times the centripetal acceleration. So uh, the sum of the forces in the y equals m times a sub c, right? So then we just want to find the sum of the forces in the y. So what forces do we have? So we have this tension force, right? Keep in mind, this isn't T, the tension force isn't 1,000 newtons. That's just the maximum, right? We're going to calculate what this is. So T is just basically the force he's going to be applying on it, and we're going to see if it's greater than this, right? So uh, it's just going to be T, and since it's going upwards, it's positive, and then minus what force do we have going down. So we just have mg going down, so minus mg. So we can find the tension force that he's going to be applying from his movement and the weight due to gravity. So it's just going to be T, and then I'm moving the mg to the other side. So mg plus m times a sub c. And if I factor out an m, you're just going to get m times g plus a sub c. Right? But keep in mind, we're not given the centripetal acceleration. right? We, we know the mass, 85 uh, kilograms. We know the gravity, just 9.8. But we don't know the centripetal acceleration. So if we want to find it or solve this, we have to know what it is. So there's a formula we can use. And uh, we know that centripetal acceleration is basically equal to v squared over r. So in terms of a circle, right? So you have the velocity they're going, the linear velocity. In this case, it's 8. And you divide that by the radius, right? And we're given both of this information. The length of the vine is basically the radius of your circle, right? You can imagine that. So it's really just going to be v, the velocity he's traveling at the bottom, which is 8. 8 squared is 64. Right? And that's the reason we took it there, because we needed it. Uh, we needed the velocity at that point, right? And we only know uh, right when it's right here. So it's basically 64, because that's 8 squared. And then divide by r, the radius, which is 10. So 64 times 10, or divided by 10, is just 6.4. So basically, the tension force that's going to be applied by uh, the archaeologist is 84 times g, uh, which is 9.8, plus 6.4. Right. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and plug this in your calculator. So you want to do 85 times 9.8 plus 6.4. And when you do that, you're going to get 1,377 newtons. So this is going to be the force, right? The, the, the tension force that he's applying on it, right? And so it's going to break it, right? Because notice it can only take 1,000, but he's going to be doing 1,377 newtons, right? So his is going to be greater, meaning he's not going to make it across, right? Because it's going to break. He's applying too much force to it. So I guess the answer to this problem is no, he's not going to make it across, right? Because uh, his force is greater than the force of the vine, right? The breaking. But yeah, so your answer to this problem is just going to be no, he's not going to make it across the river in time. But yeah, so this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.